This This is the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS Show with John Mpemba and James Grande. What's going on, Definition? John Pepe here with James Garani. Welcome into the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS Playbook Preview Show. We are taking a look at the six-game main slate for Wednesday. Uh, James, Tuesday is a uh, maybe been a day to forget for some, uh, depending on who you played. Uh, obviously, Jalen Brunson, a guy that you and I are both high on, cover of your playbook. Big night for him, but some other guys, you know, not so much. You got ejections from Nas Reed. We've got injuries to... Andre Drummond, we had Giannis get hurt here this evening, we had blowouts, we had Joel Embiid break the slate, just getting all the minutes he can handle against Detroit, I mean, uh, some things we we thought we were going to happen, some things we didn't, but that is the nature of the beast when it comes to the end of season NBA here. And guess what, John, we get to run it right back with Memphis, how fun, uh, we, get to, <laughs> we get to roster Memphis again. Uh, we have a lot of back-to-backs in this. We do. Um, like every team, uh, what? Yeah, Memphis, Cleveland, Charlotte, Toronto, Miami, Dallas, OKC, San Antonio, Orlando, Milwaukee. You should have just went Cleveland and Brooklyn, not on a back-to-back, <laughs> and then everyone else on a back-to-back because yeah. uh, those are the only two teams on a back-to-backs. Um, Major so- news tonight, but in in the playoff race. Yes. For the uh, Eastern Conference here with Orlando Magic, they were one game behind the Milwaukee oh. Bucks, and they uh, they did not win their matchup tonight. Milwaukee did, but well, they now well face- well Orlando right. down just they're down what, twelve, just 12. With a whole quarter to go, so there is a chance they do come back. But Giannis hurt getting an MRI on his calf. You would have to assume then he is not playing the second leg of this back-to-back here against Orlando. No, no chance. So if Orlando is able to either come back tonight or at the very least, they can close it back to one game for uh, for this matchup here against Milwaukee. Now they're going to have Lillard to contend with. They're going to have um, Middleton obviously to contend with and, and, and whatnot. But no Giannis is a huge potential blow to the Bucks' playoff futures here with a week left to go in the regular season. Yeah, uh, Underdog actually just posted a video of Giannis leaving the arena with a very serious limp. Um, Good that he's walking, I guess. Yes. Now, if you remember, Kobe took a free throw with a torn Achilles. Two free throws, I think, right? He made... Well, (laughs) Well, for sure. I'm just saying, like... No, I hear you. He yeah, took... Ray Rondo played an entire overtime with Tony Seal. Yeah, he, like, it, he... it happens, you know. So definitely not a good sign. Like good sign he's walking TBD on what it is. Uh, because you know, we we've we talked about it too. Like calf sometimes is Achilles, and mm-hmm. Achilles is a death sentence if you're not Kevin, like basically if you're not Kevin Durant, right? Or like at this point. Yeah, um... I mean it's a Clay Thompson, he's still not really back to what he was, right? So... Right. Right. Um, so yeah, I mean that that's that's probably the biggest news going into um into the uh Yep. The Wednesday but, slate. Uh taking a look at some of the matchups, Memphis, Cleveland. Cleveland is giving 17 in that game, a two and a half, two oh eight and a half total. Charlotte, Atlanta, Atlanta giving twelve, two seventeen, Toronto, Brooklyn, Brooklyn giving ten and a half, two fifteen and a half. Great three double digit point spread to start the slate off. Uh Miami getting two at home, two nineteen and a half against Dallas. Uh, Orlando, Milwaukee. Milwaukee is getting a point as of now, 212 and a half. San Antonio, OKC. OKC giving 15, 226. We do not have the 10 p.m. games on the slate. So we are looking at uh, four of the six games here with uh, 12, 10 or more point spreads in it. That's all I got for you, John, right here. Two thumbs up. We're ready, <laughs> we're ready, ready to go. Yeah. Breaking down the position by positions. Point guard has Mr. Luka Doncic here. I'll blow this screen up so everybody can take a look at what we're actually looking at here. Luka, SGA, DeJounte, Irving, Lillard, Mitchell. Kind of all of the usual suspects that we saw. Obviously, as you mentioned, because well, almost every team is on a back-to-back here, except for Cleveland and uh, and what, Atlanta, you said? so. No, um, no Cleveland, Cleveland and Brooklyn. Cleveland and Brooklyn, right, right, right. Cleveland and Brooklyn there. Um, 
talk to me, man. Where, where, where is your? What are we doing here? Obviously, Luca had a huge thirty-nine point triple double in that matchup against Charlotte, Miami. He's got SGA against San Antonio. We've seen this matchup a few times now. We know Charlotte sucks. So Dejounte Murray at ninety-seven. Like, got a got a favorite of this group here. I mean, Luca can do whatever he wants, whenever he wants. So um, I would say he's the favorite. Is it affordable? I'm sure. Because guess what? Again, Memphis is on the slate. Um, mm-hmm. We don't know who's going to play for Toronto, considering it's the second leg of a back-to-back. Right. Who's going to play for Charlotte on the second leg of a back-to-back? Um, you know, just looking at the teams that aren't playing for anything, uh, I would assume – Spurs could potentially rest players, not, you know. Sure. Just just throwing it out. Like, you you don't know with end of season. So I'm sure there will be enough value to get to Luka. And one, um, there was no limitations on SGA going into the Tuesday slate. And no limitations have uh, played played up to that this point. 30 minutes through three quarters. Uh, yeah. He has 31, five. 31 points, five rebounds, three assists, one steal, three blocks, uh, 11 free throws. So I think SGA is fine. Uh, good to go. Just need mm-hmm. a couple off from the quad. Uh, Jalen Williams also back 24 minutes. So no real limit limitations um, for OKC. Definitely want to see who plays if Atlanta rests anyone. I assume DeJounte is good to go. Assume Jalen Johnson's good to go. Maybe like Capella sits, maybe sure. somebody insert, you know, you never know. Uh, but Quinn Snyder, head coach, also talked about um, wanting the home court advantage for this play-in tournament. Um, so I assume they're going to be full capacity. You could definitely get to Murray 97, not my favorite play. Uh, it's a tough matchup for Lillard, assuming there's no Giannis in this one. Yeah, just got an update, Doc Rivers. Giannis will undergo testing on both his calf and Achilles. So, That's as we mentioned, really bad. Uh, you know, those two injuries sometimes connected, uh, and the MRI and tests will uh, be done on both here. Yeah, that's really bad. Um, I, I feel like that's bad, especially when you're going, like, right into the Achilles testing, yeah. right? Like, you're not even, like... I feel yeah, because like there's some preliminary tests they can do to feel around down there and see, like, you know... What might be going on? So, Ooh, not good news. Um, yep. terrible, terrible news. Hopefully, everything's okay with Giannis and we can get full capacity bucks for the postseason. Um, sure. if not, obviously, Damian Lillard, even though it's a tough spot, like he'd have to be in consideration. I'd say we've seen Dame, oh, yeah, high usage rate, very good fantasy point from any guy without Giannis. Uh, 9100 for uh, Donovan Mitchell, kind of a get right spot here. He's been really bad. Truthfully, like he has been bad since the return. They have not looked really good with Damian, uh, with Donovan Mitchell back either. This is a spot that they need to get him right in. I feel like just let him play, you know? dude. Just like let him cook early, right? Like let him get as many shots as possible. Cleveland's still live for the two seed as well. So, um, between Lillard and and Mitchell, I, I have a lot of interest there. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm perfectly good there. Uh, seeing what the latest uh, Shams just tweeted again. Uh, it could have been the same quote that I just read, but yeah, he, he, he quote tweeted uh, Bucks beat writer Eric Nam. Okay, yeah, so I'm, I'm about the same. He is walking, but again, we've seen guys walk, uh, even with the corner. They, they, we watched in the football season, right? Uh, JK Dobbins walked off the field, sure, torn Achilles. So, like, you know, definitely, definitely can still move. Um, though you think he probably would have had a little bit more assistance there, Giannis. But uh, Cam Thomas, Josh Giddy, Garland, Lavert, um, Hero, big night. No Terry Rozier. We'll see if Rozier bounces back in the second leg of this back to back or not. Um, but Hero got full minutes against uh, uh, in that matchup here this evening and looked like the Tyler Hero of the beginning of the season, just a, being a flamethrower for this uh, Miami team. Yeah, um, it's an interesting tier for sure. Cam Thomas is still playing big minutes, taking a lot of shots, so you could definitely get there. Really good spot against Toronto. Um, again, Port Brooklyn's one of the only rested teams coming into this slate, so if you want to get to Cam Thomas, by all means. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are what are the giddy minutes right now in that fourth quarter with a fully healthy team? 
Um, 19 minutes going into the fourth quarter for Josh Kitty. So, yeah, we're back to that. Uh, we're, we're back to Josh Kitty just kind of being a fart in the wind. Um, sure. Can't be a fart in the wind at 7,700. It was can't. No. Nope. Um, so, no thanks. Uh, Garland, 7,700. You know, if Mitchell continues to struggle, Garland could pick up the load, but eh. Uh, Levert, same thing. He's going to probably come off the bench here. I believe Cleveland's pretty much at full capacity. Um, I agree on the Tyler Hero front. Like, if we don't have Terry Rozier on a back to back, then I would definitely that, get that game went into Tyler overtime, Hero. by the way. Miami, Atlanta. Miami, Atlanta went into overtime. So, um, even more minutes being uh, piled on. Um, the Hero's he's out gonna there. be forty. He's gonna be at 44, 42 minutes with overtime here. <laughs> he's, he's out there. He's out there <laughs> playing thirty eight. So, uh, um, yeah, yeah, it seems it certainly seems that way. Um, let's see, Pippin fifty nine. We talked about the Memphis guards already. You liked Trey Jones uh, on the early slate there. He's fifty eight hundred again. Vichic sucked, but maybe a bounce back spot for him. Goodwin's fifty five. Just. Just play Memphis. I don't know what to say. Just, dude. So here, here's the Memphis numbers for their point guards tonight. Okay, so there's still three minutes left. So not a finished product. Uh, Jordan Goodwin, ten points, eighteen rebounds, five assists. I just had to pause at the eighteen rebounds because I think I said a couple of states ago it wasn't sustainable at fourteen. Uh, I was right. He just is less likely to get fourteen because he's going to get eighteen. Uh, mm-hmm. Scotty Pippen Jr. has eight points, six rebounds, five assists, four steals, and one block. So will do. Five blocks and steals will definitely play. Uh, and then Xavier Simpson, John, twenty-seven minutes so so far, made his shots again. Twelve points, five assists, three rebounds, one steal. I just <laughs> as terrible as it sounds, if they're going to continue to have eight guys, we're just going to continue to play Memphis, and that is what it is. I agree. Uh, there, there is a couple interesting things at play here. Patrick Beverly, I don't know if you saw, he started for Malik Beasley today. 20 points, 10, 10 assists for Patrick Beverly. Um, he was 0.5% owned on the Tuesday slate in the starting lineup. Um, 20 and 10. So if Beverly's going to start again, no Giannis. I mean, he's going to start regardless because yeah. that's the new starting lineup they're going to obviously move on with. But um, we're in 100 for sure. Freeman Liberty also started. He, he did. also Big had a very good game. Um, the official, he scored like the first seven points for them. He 20, 20 points, eight rebounds, one assist, one steal, 33 minutes. Um, if there's no Emmanuel quickly, or if he's starting for Trent or whoever likely sits out on a back-to-back, I would definitely have some interest there. You can get to Malachi Branham. Mentioned Xavier Simpson. I assume Fultz sits, John. If Fultz sits and Franz sits, maybe we do finally get Cole Anthony unlocked. But I, I'm obviously there has to be a bunch of contingencies for that. But uh, if we do get a couple people out, um, Cole Anthony, who's currently played 12 minutes into the fourth quarter right now, yeah, yeah. Um, I think would be someone that we'd have to look at. Okay. Uh, shooting guard here. Uh, again, a lot of guys we've discussed already. Brandon Miller, 71, Bogdan, Bogdan, 69, Mikel at 67, Gary Trent, 64. Um, any go to plays in that grouping? No. Um, Hero Miller on yeah, the back to back is M- fine. Miller kind of interesting to me against Atlanta. Cam Thomas, we talked about a point guard, but he's yep. elite. Uh, scorer shot maker um but nothing else like if a bunch of toronto guys and are out and bruce brown plays sure 5200 for bruce brown's value tier has champagne um a lot of the other guys we talked about beasley is here remember you mentioned that uh beverly starting um i don't know where where do you go where do you go after that at shooting guard um anybody we haven't talked about yet I mean, Branham Champagne would be the two. Uh, Timmy Allen, I mentioned uh, he has played. He's he's played twenty nine minutes, six points, four rebounds, and a steal. So yeah. like, you know, eh, it's, it's 
it is what it is with Timmy Allen. Um, you can, I, I guess you can get there. It is a back to back for Orlando. Gary Harris sits here? Question mark. Possibly. Or do you think? Or do you think they would? They're like, hey, like, this is a game we need. Gary, can you like not break down and make it through? Which is kind of why I'm surprised um, Jonathan Isaac played tonight. Just sure. considering he really hasn't played back to backs, and they play Milwaukee tomorrow. Uh, Isaac's only played 13 minutes though, so um, okay. maybe things are lining up for a Cole Anthony game here against the against the Bucks, John. Because possible. Um, that would really be it. Dante Exum is fine. Timmy Allen's fine. Uh, nothing else. Small forward position then. Uh, buckets at 82. Again, I was high on them. Had a pretty good game. They're in overtime. It's only going to stat pad from there. Miles Bridges, $7,900. Chris Middleton, 76, is going to get a nice bump there if there is no Giannis in this one. Uh, what did Gigi end up playing tonight? <laughs> uh, 28 minutes. There you go. It's just what it is, right? You just Yep. He's there, so the price is continuously rising. He's not closing again. You ready for the Memphis closing lineup? Yeah, give it to me. Goodwin, Pippen, uh, Jack White, uh, Timmy Allen, and Xavier Simpson is your st- uh, closing lineup for your Memphis Grizzlies. Fun. Um, so <laughs> three 10-day contracts. And Jordan Goodwin, Scotty Pippen, who didn't start the year on their team, so, so can't wait. To, can't wait to do it again on Wednesday. Uh, yeah, I yeah, that's gross. <laughs> um, Hunter, six K, Bruce Brown, we talked about. What's Cameron Johnson doing? Cameron Johnson is probable, probable, yeah, uh, for that game there. Yeah, there's no Finney, like... no Finney Smith. Uh, yeah. Finney Smith already been already been rolled out, so I'm assuming Cam Johnson probably starts there. Sure. Uh, we're probably just plugging in uh, in Middleton here, anyways. Right? That's granted he plays on a back to back. Can they afford not to play him against Orlando? They're losing seating here. I think I don't disagree. I also just think uh, Miami Atlanta second overtime. By the way, so maybe a situation we we possibly avoid on both sides. Uh, probably, yeah. <laughs> overall, um. I, I agree, but do you, after seeing Giannis go down and after seeing Chris Middleton just not being able to stay healthy for like the last three years, you just do you look at it and like, and, and let the dust settle where it may? Do you look at it and be like, like, we have no chance if you're not playing in the playoffs? Like, if Chris sure. Middleton goes out and gets hurt on a back to back, then what? I don't, I, for the record, I don't disagree. If it wasn't Orlando, I would I might have even agreed with you, but it's literally the team right behind them. I know. I dude, it's just like he we said it earlier in the year about like um a couple of who was it? The Cam Johnson thing. Do you remember? And we were like every time Cam yeah. Johnson plays a back to back, he breaks down. And he literally broke down and got hurt and then missed mm-hmm. expended third of time. I'm not gonna say they're like the exact same player. I'm just going to say Chris Middleton's older and breaks down all the time. Sure. So I don't know. I, 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 on one hand, I completely agree with you. They want the seating. They need the seating. The other hand, shoot, our best player just went down. We don't know what's good with him. So we need our second and third best players that are still really, really good to potentially have any chance at like maybe winning a playoff series. Sure. So I, I don't know. I think it's 50 50 if Middleton plays versus. Okay. Um, that was probably it. It's small forward going over over to power forward. Now you uh, got whoa, 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 whoa! What? What? We talked about a lot of these game, these guys already. Um, if we don't see Cam Johnson start, and we see they started Jalen Wilson the other day, he played mm-hmm. thirty three minutes, twenty six fantasy points. Uh, I would be very intrigued. And then obviously there's um Toronto plays here um sure. like grady dick if he plays with guys resting i assume guys rest yeah well um, i mean i will see if he plays or not he's hurt he's not he didn't miss it for like a a rest or is it a groin yeah okay so i mean i buy you but i mean if you want to run if you want to run that lineup out there no anybody else <laughs> no 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 all right power forward uh boncaro 84 Barrett 79. We'll see if he plays Mobley 78. 
You got Jalen Williams here at 73. Bobby Poe at $6,700. Probably going to be where the chalk lies, though. Yeah, Paolo, if there's no Franz, I have no problem getting to. Not having uh, a great night overall, but still would be okay getting there. Um, at 8,400 against the Milwaukee team, no Giannis. Bridges, 79, definitely okay. Mobley playing pretty much full capacity minutes is definitely in play at 78 against Memphis. Jalen Williams, we'll see on the second leg of back-to-back. But I agree, Bobby Portis chalk is for sure in our cards here. Yeah. Um, Mid-tier, guys. P.J. Washington, DeAndre Hunter, Grant Williams on a back-to-back here. Um, Anybody else? Uh, Mamu, $4,500 started again today. What are you thinking? He went crazy in this game. Um, He had 50,000 rebounds. Andrew Mamu Kelevishvili had 16 rebounds, John. Um, Wemby only had seven, so obviously we see who took away from him. Uh, but definitely Mamu starting for sure. Grant is fine at 54. Peter Washington really let me down. They are going to get a Miami team going into double overtime, so that's fine. Mm-hmm. Um, Trent Watford played 33 minutes in the blowout. No Dorian Finney-Smith, so maybe there's an extended uh, run in his cards. I assume Noah Clowney is the guy that's playing in front of Watford. He was their first-round pick. 35 minutes last game. He's now played 22 minutes or more in three of the last four. Uh, He's also had 10-plus rebounds in two of his last three. Uh, So not Watford, Noah Clowney. Yeah, Clowney, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 4,100. I assume Clowney would be the guy... That gets first crack with Claxton back, and he's probably rotating in at the four and the five. So I'd be okay getting to um, some Noah Clowney. Bertans had a big night um, making a bunch of shots on uh, Wednesday. Have to assume Jay Crowder's probably extended a little bit if there's no Giannis and uh, possibly no Middleton, but uh, that's probably it. Uh, center position. Wemby's 11 5. We've been continuing only to running back to him there. You got Bam 85, Jared Allen 81 uh, as your top pr- uh, priced centers on the slate. Yeah, I mean, Wemby was definitely disappointing on um, Tuesday, but Goldfish memory on to Wednesday. I, I shouldn't yeah. like hit seven blocks and he did say, like a bunch of things. Watch help, you know? Yeah, but like 49 fantasy points when. Luca had 70 and Bede had 70. He, hard, hard to like. You weren't winning at anything with. No, him. for sure not. But those days, those days happen. You, you kind Agreed. of bounce it back again. We've seen Agreed. this Wemby versus uh, Holmgren matchup a few times. Wemby's averaging 50 fantasy points in 29 minutes. If he's not limited right now, we know he's playing more than the 29 minutes. So there's some, some potential for that there. Agreed. I'm. I'm not. I'm not saying. Um, I'm not playing him. I'm just saying, like, a little disappointed. Like, Mamo having 16 rebounds that didn't help Webby's case. Like, sure, for, for sure. the double double and all that. But Jared Allen for sure in a great spot. Um, 8100 is not the best price, but a really good spot for him. Chet is fine. Kelly O, if he plays, he's fine. Capella on a back to back in like the spot of all spots. We'll see yeah. what Capella has left uh currently 34 minutes for Clint Capella um in this double overtime game. Not like he... Yeah, Jalen Johnson left that game, right? So um Jalen Johnson 24 minutes. Yeah. Um not great, Bob. Not great. So yeah, you got hurt. That's sad. Um I mean I guess Hunter's played 44 minutes. Capella's played 34. Bogdanovich has played 42. I guess I would reevaluate things. Um, well, what I didn't, did Fernando do? He's at 21 minutes, 12 okay. points, four rebounds. Uh, Vit Krechi and Garrison Matthews have also played 27 and 21, respectively. Yeah, because with it, we, I mean, when uh, when Jalen Johnson was out, Agonku sell out. Fernando was being a chalk. Everybody's yep. playing Bruno Fernando. And they would, and they started, and they were starting Krechi. 
Right. right? It was start crutchy, Fernando value. What's Fernando's price in this? 41, 41. against Charlotte on a second leg of a back to back where Capella is playing in a double overtime game. No guarantee. Doesn't that, doesn't that feel like play. a Bruno Fernando game to you? <laughs> no, no guarantee. I mean, I assume Capella plays because he's been playing back to backs, but there could definitely be some type of. Oh, I don't even disagree that he's going to play, but I think that could be closer to a split in minutes. Sure. Sure. Agreed. Um, at that point there. So, um, yeah. Any other centers? What did what is Wendell at? Because uh, if Isaac doesn't play, let me see Wendell Carter. Wendell Carter. Oh, look at that! Nineteen minutes. <laughs> Mo Wagner, twenty-one minutes. John, mm-hmm. Jonathan Isaac, up to nineteen, and the last three minutes of the game that he's on the floor for. So Wendell Carter back to who knows what? How many minutes he's going to play? I guess. Uh, after being super consistent with his minutes for an extended period of time. Um, I, I'd be interested to see if they play Clark on a back-to-back. I, it's, maybe it's like an active but not play situation. He sure. started today. Uh, he played 27 minutes um, in his start. He wasn't great. Um, he wasn't bad. wasn't great. Mm-hmm. They also could just use like, be like, "Hey, Lamar, can you suit up today?" Because or like Jake Laravia, can you right. suit up today as like an eighth player? Um, so I'd be interested to see if they if Clark plays, um, Gem if he does like Jemison at forty three is obviously he one rebound shy of a double double again today. Um, that's that's probably it. But I think right. Jemison Jemison probably has to be. Back in our player pool, if they're just going to be, I mean, the announcement came out today. Jaron Jackson likely to miss the rest of the year. Sure, yeah, going to be Trey Jamison season. Yep. All right, let's uh, let's get a lineup built here. I guess we're going to assume on the premise that there is no uh, Giannis here. Yeah. So um, we're in on our guy Beverly at forty nine. He's got shooting guard eligibility, so let's plug him in there. Yeah, you got to just get Memphis in there. Out of Jam Memphis. Yeah, that's fine. Shooting guard Memphis. And then uh Pippin. Uh guard was uh Goodwin. And then Util is Samson. Right? And his name? What's his name? No, nah, we Simpson. We don't need to play all three though. I don't, I don't think Okay. Well we'll play, play like, Pippin and Goodwin then. Play Jemison at center, 43. Okay. Or, or if you wanted to pivot to Fernando instead, it doesn't matter. No, that's that's fine. Um, do you want to? Because we need. I think the APM window has Dame available to us, so that could be used as our util. Um, that's assuming we both assume. Yeah, this is sure. not, like he's going for. A, we got seventy three, so let's go Cam Thomas then. Is that play oh, you, for you. Oh, you didn't want to play Dame. Oh yeah, Dame's fine. Yeah, yeah, Dame's, Dame works. I thought you were saying like wait it out on it, but no, Dame works. No, I it, mean it. I think I think it's for certain. If he's getting MRIs on the Achilles, he's not playing. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean I don't disagree with you at all. Uh, I'll go Champagne here then. Power forward, Portis. I mean just might as well run it right. Yep. yep. And then forward to nine nine K forward. Um, I guess Bancara oh. run it back right. This other side of that run. Um. Yeah, I was looking to see if we had anything else to like then move up somewhere else, but uh, that's fine. Okay. I mean, just an example lineup. Obviously, we'll have more news and clarity at the 5 p.m. live streams. So make sure you tune into that there uh, for all the updated advice and lineup news as it breaks. Uh, if you haven't already hit the like button, do so. Free way to support what we do here on the Fantasy on YouTube channel. Uh, James and I, again, back live, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Get us in Discord. Find us on Twitter. If you have any questions, until then, everybody, we'll catch you later.